Hey guys, Daily Tech here, and today we'll be checking out three different games on Steam VR that make great use of the Navi controllers. Now, I've had a few people ask me, why don't I use my Navi controllers in any of the gameplay videos? Or what games are they actually good in? And today, I'm going to put some of those questions to rest. First game we're going to check out is one of my favorites, Space Pirate Trainer. Secondly, we'll be trying out a newer game that I got called Child of Alt. And finally, we're going to go back to an old game that I've played before called Castle Must Be Mine. Now, before the Navi controllers came out, all three of these games did require some fancy controller configuration just to get yourself through the game. But now with the Navi controller, the default setup of this gives you all the buttons that you need right where you want them. Your grip button's right on top here, triggers right here. Moving the touchpad around is just this thumbstick right here. And lastly, any of the directional presses you need to do on the trackpad are right here on your D-pad. Now I've done full gameplay videos of Castle Must Be Mine and Space Pirate Trainer, and if you want to check those out, they're on the card in the top right of your screen now. But in the meantime, let's do some gaming with the Navi controller. Alright Space Pirate Trader, this is probably almost one of the first games that I ever bought for this and just turns out that it has one of the best support for the Navi controller. As uh, you check it out here, I can just rip through all the different weapons, so let's choose a couple more grenades on my left and then machine gun on the right. Let's see how this does. We'll start off with uh... Well, we don't need to Really bad stuff here. Really bad. Alright, let's that's uh getting better. Yeah. Well, I guess a good enough run for this. These things are great, though. Don't use a whole lot during it, but sometimes uh, you really need to switch it up, especially switch between these two here. That's really cool, too. Anyways, that's it for this game. Let's move on to the next. Alright, so this is Child of Vault. This is a bit of a kind of like a longbow type of game, but also a uh, also like a tower defense type of game. So let's give this thing a go. Take a look, and this is a brand new level for me. I haven't done this yet, so let's give this a try. This screen, I don't know if you can see this loading screen, but that is wild. Gigantic. All right, here we go. So there's my crystal. I've got to save that thing. This is my bow. And here they come over there. Tiny. Can I do a fireball? Get all three of you. Ah! Boom! Come on! Well, you guys. Get out of here. Ah! Ah! Alright, I'm getting energy back now. Oh, this is good news. This is where the Navi controllers become really good use. 
You can select different directions with the thumbstick to pick different shots with your little magic slingshot. As you can probably tell, the fireballs are definitely my favorite. Now I'd have to learn through the tutorial again to learn what each direction does, but this gives you a good idea of how easy it makes it. No, you killed my magic toys! No, why? No more! game that's kind of neat it's uh it's a little bit fun i really got to get used to using all the different weapons the different monsters or or sorry the different uh those things whatever they are i don't know what they are but let's grab this gift right before we wrap it up see what i get open i get a nurse well i wonder what we're gonna do with you but anyways we're gonna find out next time let's get to the next game Alright, last game here is Castle Must Be Mine. Now this is another tower defense game, but this one's a little bit different. You get to stand up top above the table and play God. It's awesome. You move the little pieces around, actually building real towers, throwing fireballs. It really doesn't get a whole lot better. So, let's get this thing done. Now bad guys come from out of there. They want to get into there. So, let's stop them. So I think we're going to need... No, and how I'm using the Navi controllers on this one is that I'm using the D-pad to select which one of these I want to place. So I'm going to place, uh, you know, let's start with some bombs here. And we got level 2 towers available. hey -o. Let's put some bombs here. And we're going to hope that is going to work out. Alright. We'll stand over here. And this is my favorite part. Boom! Chop the fireballs. I really need another tower quickly. Starting's a little bit rocky here. I think we're gonna be all right now. We are going to be just fine. We only let two through. Not bad. Oh boy! Oh no! No more here. And there's two. Oh no! Uh, four coins. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Um. Okay. Here's hoping. Hold it back as long as you can. This might be good, bro. Uh oh. No. 
No! Yes! <laughs> and fireworks. Fireworks means you win. Well, there you have it. Three games in one video. Now, I'm not saying these games are my favorite or anything, nor am I really good at them, but they all have good use of the Navi controllers. So if any of these games that you saw float your boat, then the Navi controller might just be for you if you use the PS Move service. Now, if you've played any games that made really good use of the Navi controller, or play games that were tough to play with just the regular PS Move controller that you'd like to see me try out, let me know about them in the comments below, see if I could pick it up, or I might have it already and I could do a demo for you. Because I'm always looking to try out new things. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Also, be sure to check out my other videos listed here. We'll see you next time.